All right, now we have seen the dynamic island feature on the all new iPhone 14 Pro series and many of us, if not all of us are of an opinion that this feature is not something worth checking out. So I thought why not help you guys know how it feels using this dynamic island feature on your Android phone so that you can use it and then share your thoughts about whether it is going to be useful on either the iPhone or the Android phones. So keep watching the video and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better. Now let's dive right into the video. Now to experience this feature, all you need is a third party application called Dynamic Island. It's also called Dynamic Spot. This app is in the early access stage. You can test this application out and share the feedback with the developer so that they can improve this application. Now, once you install and open the application, you will have to follow these instructions shown here. You're supposed to allow the permissions for this application to read your notification. You can select which application can activate the pop-up. Just tap on this option. Here you can enable these toggles for specific applications or you can just tap on all to enable the toggles for all the applications so that the notifications from these app shows up on this dynamic island. Then here we have notification access. Just enable it. And the last permission is draw on screen. This option you have to enable on accessibility settings. The moment you tap on it, it is going to take you to accessibility settings. Just tap on installed apps. Here you will see dynamic spot. Just tap on this and turn this toggle on. Now, you are good to go. Just tap on done and tap on this play button on the top right corner, which enables this dynamic island feature. Again, here it says allow dynamic spot to send you notification. Just allow it and we are good to go. Now let me show you how this dynamic island display looks on the screen and let's see how functional it is. Now let me just open maps. I will just set the destination and activate the maps here. Now when I go back to home screen, you can see the maps is also shown in the dynamic island screen. I will just press and hold on this. You can see we have got some information here. And if you want to open the maps, you can just tap on this to open the maps here. Now, of course, we do have this floating window for the maps here. And even if you close this floating window, you will be able to see the maps notification in this dynamic island. That is fantastic. Now let's open another application here. Let me just tap on clock. I'll tap on stopwatch and start the stopwatch here. Now let's go home and see whether it opens the second application as well. Now, as you can see, it has opened the timer here above the clock on this dynamic island display. Now, if you press and hold on this, you will be able to see the stopwatch here. Now, what if you want to see two background running applications right here on this display? For that, we have to enable a setting inside the application. Let me just open dynamic spot application. Now here I'll tap on pop up settings. Here you will see an option allow two pop ups. Show a second pop up if multiple notifications arrive. Now I'll just enable this. Let's go back to the home screen. And now I'll tap on clock. I'll stop it and resume it again. Now let me go back to the home screen. As you can see, we have got the clock as well as the maps right here on top. And this looks exactly like the iPhone's dynamic island. Kudos to the developers of this application. They have done a fantastic job here. We can open maps by tapping on this. And if you want to open the stopwatch, just tap on this stopwatch icon here. So we have got access to two different applications running in the background simultaneously on this dynamic island. We don't really have to open the recent application and access these apps. We can directly tap on them on the top to open these applications. That is just brilliant. Now let me just exit the navigation here. I will send a message on WhatsApp on this number and let's see how the notifications would look like. As you can see, we have got this notification pop up in this small circle. And if you don't have any other applications running in the background, this pop up will be shown in this entire pill shape here. All right, now this application does allow us to customize these pop up settings. As you can see, we have got pop up settings here. Here we can customize the dimensions of this pill. As you can see, we can increase or decrease the size in terms of width, in terms of length, in terms of position, we will be able to change it right here. This is great. You can set it up as per your preferences here. Now, if I have to share my opinion about this feature, I feel this is a great feature which has been implemented on the iOS. And I would say even on Android, we should get this feature because this enables us to multitask so easily. We don't really have to go to the recents button to see any applications. We will have two applications running in the background, easily accessible right on top here. But yes, we do need some improvements with this feature. It should not be limited only for two applications. We should be 
be able to see multiple applications running in the background right here on the top. Maybe we can just press and hold on one of the circles here which will push all the other running applications right here so that we can select the one we want. This is going to become an alternative feature for accessing the recent applications by swiping your phone up or by tapping on the recent button. That is my thought. You let me know what do you think about this. Whether you like this feature, whether you want this feature to be on Android or not, do share your thoughts. And if you're interested in checking this app out, I have left a link to download this app in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you find any value in this content. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. My name is Salyan signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.